is in. why PMC needs to have a Twitch yeah. channel. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I, mean, I am right. <laughs> of course, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Big time record producer. The difference is what's your foundation. How difficult it has been to lose Prince. Good morning. This is the music A section. Output, output, output. Hey guys, this is Mark Mozart again from Musikmesse in Frankfurt. So this goes out on the official Musikmesse Facebook page. I guess you didn't know that. Wow, and now it, I'm petrified. <laughs> well, just, just letting you know you're going to be made a fool of in more uh, than just two people. Also, um, <laughs> also goes uh, to, to my 84,000 followers on my English Facebook page. Only 80,000. So don't be nervous. Okay, I'm much calmer now. It's, I'm yeah, surprised. I'm that, calm. You found that the numbers has helped to calm down a little bit? Definitely, definitely. Just yeah, to know yeah. in just, the... Just 80,000, you know. So I thought we were going to have a big audience, but yeah. no, but it's good to be here. I, I don't know you. Why, you. why do you sit here? What do you do I, for a living? Uh, who am I? What's my contribution to life? My name is Chris Allen from uh, PMC, the professional monitor company ah, in the of, UK. I heard of them. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we make speakers and, and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. So who are you? Uh, well, those who haven't met me before, uh, my name is David Sherwin. I'm the general manager of GIK Acoustics Europe. Um, of course, we have been on uh, with Mark Mozart before. You had a special with Lucas talking about acoustics. So I'm not yeah, we're with. like mates already. You, yeah, we're yeah. like mates. We're like yeah. Mate. <laughs> you like that? Oh yeah. You guys. Not like you. you you've got to sit a little bit further away so that we can sort uh, of like. I've got to earn my spot on the armchair. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Fair it. Enough. Ne next podcast, if there is one. Yep, yep. So how? how it feels a bit. It feels chilled now. Yep. I, I thought it was really crowded today, and I was I was really happy. Yeah, had a lot of stuff going on. Of course, I was running around and yep. broadcasting for these guys. Yeah. But you know, sometimes it was so busy around the various stands that I wouldn't even yep. get to the people I wanted to talk to. Yeah. I mean, I would actually say. I mean, I don't know what Chris thinks, but I would say that this year. They've obviously they've moved the hall again, just so that any, just so none of us get too comfortable. Because the worst thing we'd hate is to come back and it actually be in the same place. Yeah. They moved the hall again. It's actually for me it's been a better location. There's been more people in here, a lot more interest. I think this year, um, there's a, for me, there's a bit of a vibe. If you used to come three, four, five years ago, yeah, I think there's more of a vibe this year, like it used to be. A lot more relaxed, a lot more people taking the time to come round, a yeah. lot more people. It's been better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of talk about you know the value of not just music massive but trade shows as a whole, you yeah. know, and attendance being low. But I always think you know trade shows or any activity you do as a company or any endeavor you do is what you make of it. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, so for us, it's been good. I mean, we have an advantage. Uh, we have uh, a few, a couple of speaker setups for the Resort Six and our big MB3 yeah. main speakers. We can we can to a degree control the traffic. Which can turn it up. That tends to bring people in. <laughs> turn it down if we get a bit tired. You know, that's it. Have it's a quiet. coffee. <laughs> exactly. So we can control it that way. But in general, I mean, it's hard to say on day one. You know, uh, uh, but it's been a good positive vibe. You know, some really yeah, interesting yeah. conversations, some really cool characters um, that have come by, and we've had some good constructive uh, conversations. It's been a good show. I always enjoy music massive. You know. What about you? Well, for yeah, you? well, I've been here yesterday already. 3.1. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, there's, this is a lot of live PA stuff. Sure. Uh, but uh, lots of company like Solid State Logic that are really relevant to what I do. So yes. I spent all day yesterday already broadcasting from uh, ProLight and Sound and had some great conversation. And it's great that 3.1 and 4.1 are so close yeah. to e each other. That's great for all the people that have the same interest to sound around studio, recording, yeah. DJ. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and allowing, giving people access to the products, getting hands on with it. OK, we're in audio, but actually seeing, for example, a pair of speakers or acoustic panels. It yeah. It's a completely different dimension than just reading about it yeah. and reading reviews and things like that. You know, that's where trade shows do have value. You, know? I mean, you can I, get hands on. With it. I think as well from a, you know that's from a consumer point of view, but from our point of view, I've always said if we didn't do a trade show, what would we do? Would we just sit in our offices talking to people on Skype and we'd never we'd never actually interact with people? For me, one of the most important things of ever is actually meeting our customers. You know, it's nothing better than a customer coming up saying, I bought something from you, 
two years ago, absolutely brilliant, great, yeah. thank you very much, and just generally having a chat and, and understanding, and I think that's important for you know from our view as well, the other way around. I mean, that's actually, definitely 100% yeah. my yeah. thing, and I interact with yeah. a lot of people on social media, on Facebook, yeah. a lot of comments and questions, yeah. but then to actually shake somebody's hand, yeah. feel the handshake, and you feel, oh wow, this... Is it true you've got like a new handshake now, what you sort of like... Um, I do my, I always do the same handshake, but you know, then you it's, set... It's served him well for many years, there's no need it's to working. change a good handshake name. It's, it's so. working. It's firm. Yeah. Firm and so then... That, work, that works for you? When you call your... And now that you've, you've you got 80,000 friends, you don't feel the need to... You call your British people mate and and your uh, US people brother. Exactly. Uh, yeah. and Actually, I'd be interested. What what is it you actually do with the PMC speakers? My role, personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, on my job role, international bus business development manager. Okay. For the, for the professional side. So, PMC, we make uh, loudspeakers in yeah. general. We have a couple of departments. We have uh, the professional creative uh, speakers for recording, mixing, mastering, and broadcast. Yes. In fact, that is our roots, uh, the yeah. professional monitor company. That's yeah. where we started. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we also have a domestic hi-fi division as well. My business is on the professional side and looking after sales and marketing and general requirements for all over the world, okay. basically. Uh, we, we do have... And you guys are based in the UK? We are a UK company. Yeah. We have a factory in Luton where all of the speakers are produced. Uh, tested and supported and so on. We yeah. have a sales office close by in a nearby town as well. So we're uh, thoroughly a UK company. How long have you been working for the company? Myself, uh, just celebrated my third year, my third anniversary. But I've actually had the pleasure of working with PMC speakers yeah. and the guys at PMC for probably around 10 years. My, in my previous life, I was working for another prestigious company, very fortunate to work with Prism Sound, who make fantastic ah, okay, yeah, audio yeah. converters. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, and the Prism Sound and PMC Link has been around for as long as I know. Certainly, if you go to a lot of the UK, I would, European say, I would say studios, they're, I would say they're in the same. Prism and PMC. Yeah. I think they're in the same category in terms of, you know, uh, you're thinking high-end converters, your mind wanders Prism, and you're yes. thinking high-end speakers, your mind wanders well, PMC. Bowers and Wilkins as well, of course. Of course, yep. There are, um, there are you, other there's, speakers there's available. A competition is healthy, <laughs> I would say. Indeed, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. The competition is healthy. Yeah, certainly. So um, I can I can completely see how you could uh, bring your, you know the branding knowledge from Prism into into the new role. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean the transition has been very smooth, really. I mean, it's funny. I was thinking when I joined PMC. You think converters, not so cool maybe, you know what I mean? They're necessary, very important in the in the signal chain, yeah. of course. Yeah. But as we say, not very rock and roll, you know, yeah. I think it's fair to say that. And then moving to PMC, reputable company, and everybody loves speakers, everybody loves microphones. Yeah. I thought, wow, you know, maybe selling speakers is, 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 is going to be easy, sure, but, you know? <laughs> no, not at all, you know? Um, the, the, it's, like you say, it's a very competitive market, actually, yeah, speakers. Yeah. There's a lot of choice out there. Um, there's a lot of good stuff, there's a lot of bad stuff. And you know, my job is really just to educate people about what we do and how we do. There's many different ways to make speakers. Yeah. You know, there's lots of decent brands out there. Um, but I firmly believe in PMC. You know, I've used a lot of speakers, and so I'm, I'm very much behind the, the, the product. And when you're behind a product, when you believe in it, it's, you know, sales almost come second to me. Yeah. You know? yeah. so, but it, you're right. Very competitive market indeed. You know, a lot it of is. choice. Yeah, it yeah. seems like it seems like there's a new speaker model and a new brand coming out every month. You know, really, everyone's making speakers. And there's so yeah. many new technologies coming into the market. Yeah, oh yeah, lots of DSP, lots of Dante. Clever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, How is this Dante? Is it something you have to think about for the studio market? It's something we certainly have to consider, but it. I wouldn't say it's at the top of the agenda at the moment because there are lots of interfaces, way we can interface yeah, with yeah. audio over IP. There's lots of clever, yeah, Dante machines, uh, Ravenna, and all sorts of, like I say, audio over IP boxes. 
uh, that ultimately still need to come out analog so we can hear them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for, for me, PMC is in a category where I mean, if I buy this speaker, uh, I paid so, <laughs> so much money for this fantastic product that I want to have a cable that's like that thick. Yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. The cables, and, again, you know, there's a lot of choice there. Um, but yeah, don't underestimate the good cabling, absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. have some thin bit of copper wire, yeah, yeah. you know, handling, you know, all your big loud dynamic range and bass and yeah. whatnot. That's not just gonna, it's just not going to cut it, is it? So, Talking about technology, I got a link there for Dave. Oh, you, you, you link there or just poke him in the eye? Tag you, you, I'll you've tag you be, in. You've not been involved for a while, I'll poke your eye. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, you're just going to ask me, yeah. asking me a question or are you just poking no, me? No, 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 you showed me an iPhone app earlier today. Yeah, we did. I mean, one of the things Chris is saying about, you know, about the whole thing, we always joke about acoustics being not sexy. And when people come around, they do really, you know, you hear uh, the PMCs pump now. And the thing Chris isn't saying about the PMCs is important is they've got a signature sound down there. And there's, you know, and I think that is one of the reasons that people are so drawn in it, really, every single type of speaker. But he can pump that music out, it gets people in. You know, what we're trying to do is is make acoustics sexy in a sense. And yeah. it is not just with the way in the look and what we're doing, but we've changed the approach in the recent years and we're really what we're really excited about now is because we really want to be at the forefront, we really love it, and we're not talking about acoustics now, we're not talking about absorption and diffusion, we're talking about manipulation of sound. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the way we're thinking. But it isn't just the, the end product, is it? You know, when we're a company, then you want that the, the customer experience to be absolutely the best you can. Mm -hmm. um, right from the very first second that they meet you, all the way through to Years after, I mean, working. you have always yeah. been great at yeah. this. I, you know, I remember, you know, from yeah. the let me call it the gear slot yeah. day, days, yeah. you guys have been around. So it's pretty much it's in a way similar with PMC. That when I think, you know, room treatment, gotta get my room right, where can I go to? All right, GIK yeah. Acoustic would be. Yeah. Probably the first name. This is what we, you know, when I set out genuinely, when I set the company up. When I, I first took it on in Europe 10 years ago, yeah. I actually genuinely, I said I had one aim and I wanted it to be the, and this is showing my age more than now, I wanted it to be the Sony Walkman of acoustics. When did GIK's acoustics first start in America? Um, that was, it was up to, just coming up to 15 years ago now. Okay. Uh, and we've been, we just, just at the end of our, um, we're just going to be up to our 10 year anniversary in Europe, so we yeah. started five and then, years and later. And then, uh, obviously, if you do it for 10 years now, yeah. it must have catched on in America very quickly after five years, and then they decided to yeah. go into Europe and well, yeah, set I, up I a met, uh, I met Glenn, I was looking for doing something different at that time in my life, I was in a yeah. band. I mean, I think, you know, Chris knows that the whole of uh, the industry is, well, I, is littered we, with either can I trade? Can I trade the demo of your first band against the picture you have of my first band? Yeah, 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 because my band was pretty good. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, we, I've got a lovely video I'll show you later. Okay. Yeah, but no, um, but we like most of it, we come from... Can I put we, it on Facebook? Of course you can. Okay. Yeah, because it's, it, it's, it's animated, I'm not actually in it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> been immortalized in an animation. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that, that's when you know you've made it. Yeah. You know? But genuinely, um, have I done anymore? Talk about now. I'm completely, uh, <laughs> yeah, completely. Uh, a branding using answer. this uh, something no, something. No, yeah, enter, yeah. Some bit of acoustics. It sounds great. <laughs> Put them in your room. <laughs> now entering the market. Uh, yeah. Uh, Establishing a, a brand. Yeah. But we wanted to be, was just, I wanted to actually set out, I wanted to be the Sony Walkman of acoustics. That's what I really wanted to be. Yeah. I wanted people to think acoustics, GIK acoustics. Yeah. And so part of that, like you said, is, is looking at recent technology. And one of the things we are promoting here, a big um, announcement at Music Messe uh, this year, is that we've, um, and hopefully you're going to come by and see a demonstration over the next couple of days yes. if you get time, is um, software. The software includes a, a mobile app, and, and the general thing of it is, is you you go onto a website, you download the app, um, you take you, you take the app, and you just you say you want to measure your room, so you get the mobile app, and you can actually go around the edge of your room and draw. And you see your room through the yeah, camera, right? You see your room through the camera, and you can draw. And you put the every time you want to do a, a corner, you put a dot in, so it doesn't matter how complicated it looks. You know what? For the for the final video. Yeah. For the final edit, we'll meet you, bring in the edit, the screencast yeah. from the actual app. Yeah. We'll put that in, not live yeah. now, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, cool. we'll show it. And basically, it brings it onto a 2D map, and from there, obviously, it turns it into a 3D. Yeah. You, can, you can walk through the room, you can see it in all different angles. Yeah. You can then go through, you can start selecting. We haven't actually yet got all of our... Um, 
all of the catalogue updated because it's, it's literally just going live now. Yeah. We're hoping to talk to some of our colleagues, like people like PMC, and see if they're interested in having. So you can just pick PMC speakers out for those. those well, in the room. You guys need yeah. to put your speakers into that system yeah. as well. And then we've already got your panels in our studios. Yes, so they have. Yeah. Can, so you, the can yeah. you guys digitize me and then sit me in front of the yeah. console? Yeah, we could. It so could be done. Yeah, because they can uh, yeah. calculate around the reflections of my head. <laughs> <laughs> But well, basically what happens then, you can put, you can choose your um, panels, you can change all the colours and all the different designs we've got. Yeah. You can use the uh, automated uh, reality, which means that if you were sat at home and you thought one of those panels might look nice in this red here, yeah. and you can literally hold the mobile phone up, the panel will be there, it's going through your camera, you can see how it looks in your room. And it's basically at this stage... It's, and the size is automatically adjust? Yeah, the size okay. is automatically adjust. You can change it as well, no, you can turn it around, it's very, very easy. Okay. I mean, we literally have been rushing this to get this ready for this show. Yeah. And I only had my first demo yesterday. Within five minutes, I designed my hotel room. Yeah. Um, I, put, I put doors and windows in it. It was yeah. super easy. The idea is that you're going to be able to plan, you're going to be able to do 2D, so in seconds, we can do a lot then acoustically, we can advise people better. Um, and as we go on, we're hoping that obviously this is going to be an ongoing development, so there's going to be more features, because yeah. we know there's things we can do regarding using sound with it in the long run as well, so that you can see what happens when you put a panel in a room. Ah, and okay. That sounds like yeah. an awesome feature and added bit of value from GIOK, but it seems a bit more like of an aesthetic thing, like you want to see how it looks. Yeah. So is that more appropriate for maybe the consumer market rather than the pro market? It is, it is. Does, does, it, does it help? I mean, how, how do you sell... I, how how do you, I'm thinking... You have your, here's your phone, you're measuring the yep. thing. Here's your earbuds for the smartphone. Yep. And then you play back music in the virtual room. Yep. And you, you do an A-B uh, of without treatment and with the treatment. Right, right. Well, you and then so you have to, simu it with you have PM to, you have to simulate speaker. with and without the treatment. And Which can be done, using, actually. Can be done. It could using be, your I mean. speakers. I guess so. But even, but even that, a simple thing, if you want to plan your room, so, so you, for a professional, they want to do a draw, uh, plan the room, it takes 30 seconds. Right. It does all the measurements for you, so you don't have to measure it. So you literally, so there's lots of it. And also, to, to never be fooled by thinking that just because someone has a studio that they don't care about how things look. I mean, I, I would only introduce you, Mr. Mark Mozart. This is a man who likes red. Do you know what I mean? He might. Nah. He, he likes red, I'm telling it's you. It's funny, uh, given my choice of football club, I'm yeah. a Schalke fan. Yes, yes, I know. But, yeah. uh, I mean, for the studio, it was red, yes. Yeah, because yeah, you, you're a secret lover of Bayern Munich, isn't it? Uh, I'm a Schalke fan. Yes, yeah. Which is something I'm not talking about here on Musikmesse because we're playing, we're playing Frankfurt yes, so in the semi finals of the Cup next Thursday. Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I go and see uh, Halifax Town play. As you know, you mm. see my posts. I did. Yes. We don't get quite as many fans, 1800, but you know, <laughs> it's good. We 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 won last night, two one against second place. I mean, that's the real football. Yeah. Oh, I, that's I love it. That's the real culture. I just go in there, pound a cup of tea, pound a cup of tea. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I say, it's it's just it's one of those things you can you can pound near the ground. It's a great family club, and they are and generally. We can kick a ball about, all right. Maybe not quite as good as a shell. But, you know, we can, uh, it's pretty good. And I, I line with you, I like that sort of real, it, for me, the reason I go, is we can talk here about audio, we can talk about acoustics, and I literally do, I get up very early in the morning, I go into work early, I stay forever, I talk acoustics, 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 just to go and shout at a referee and, and everybody else. I mean, who, who doesn't want that type of relief? It's yeah. got to be an easier way. <laughs> it's got to be an easier way. <laughs> well, 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 you tell us about your um, stress relief, uh, Chris. How do you get away from the, 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 you know, the heavy PMC world? Oh, let me guess. Know? Let me guess. When you're off in Tokyo eating can sushi, I guess? can I guess? <laughs> can I guess? Go on, get a guess. I see in my mind. I see a 5.1 PMC setup. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Three gaming monitors. <laughs> Not far off. I'm, I'm, what is I'm, I'm it? quite the avid gamer. I do love a good, a good uh, online sesh with my friends. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You absolutely. Uh, but you don't have a Twitch channel yet. I don't have a what? What? A Twitch channel? Oh no, no, no. Okay. Not at all. Um, no, I'm, 
not that kind of Could I don't be. have that kind of ego really it was, okay. you have to ah. drag me to get onto this it's not this ego it's, the, ca it's a career so you think I wanted to go in front yeah, of if camera I'd known, if I'd known 10 years ago you can make a career out of playing games yeah I probably wouldn't be sat here Mark yeah because <laughs> well, you know, I, I too like playing games I'm, only, I'm really rubbish just really the world's worst game. Do you think there's a job to Just with practice, me? man. It's like anything. Just <laughs> practice. That's why, you we're know, too, we're too I, busy, I managed yeah. to squeeze six hours a day in, including a, in a working day. That's you know, where I got to where I am now. Um, anyway, um, your boss, Peter Tom, uh, is, uh, is listening. He's wondering how you managed to fit six hours of gaming into your busy schedule. <laughs> you know. No, the, 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 the answer is no spots, right? No sports, exactly, you know? <laughs> what, I, what I lack well, in sports, I make uh, up for in game. In Germany, the government just decided that eSports is actually sports. And because, yeah, because right. the government also has this thing that sports uh, has a special place yeah. uh, in Germany, so I don't know, but never tax-free and they put some extra money in it, that's why we're the world yeah. champions and not England. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they include eSports into that because yep. if, if the eSport version of that comes along, we well, want to be... Well, I'm, I'm here now, um, officially. I'm, I'm happy that Chris really would like to represent England um, and you can um, represent Germany. I think you should have a, you should have an online game. Yeah. We'll see who we wins. Can, we can bridge the gap. So I'll, I, I like gaming. You like yeah. sports. Yeah. We could have a FIFA or a Pro Evo competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Combine the two. I think this has got to, this has got to happen. I think you can, there's no reason that this shouldn't be happening. Um, for me personally, my thing with gaming is I'm a highly addic addictive person, yep. but I don't have any problems with addictions. I, I didn't do any drugs ever in my whole life, which is funny for a musician. Yep. My worst addiction was a Harry, Harry Bow gummy bears. Oh yeah, they, are, they are really uh, moorish, aren't they? Yeah. My Those yummy, yummy gummies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. My thing is that I can, I can, I can make my if I can make my mind up about how dangerous an addiction is, yep. I can decide I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mess with it. And I, I am totally sure once I get into FIFA, whatever, you know, yep. that's it. My life is over. I either go esports pro or bankrupt. You know. I'm glad you brought it back to the um, the esports again there, because I thought we were starting this was going to be Mark Mozart's addiction clinic. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm an addict. <laughs> Interesting, you know, one thing I'm looking for the future, we can talk about this type of thing, especially, you know, with 5.1 systems and more, is, is gaming, as the gaming generation becomes older, have more money, how important is the gaming industry going to actually be to the pro audio world in, in a sense? Oh. It's yeah. very, I think it's yeah. already, you just... You know, especially you, in the consumer market, you know. This is in, why PMC needs to have a Twitch yeah. channel. Maybe you're right, maybe you're right. I, mean, I am right. I, <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> excuse me, but you know, from what I know, the, the gaming industry eclipses the movie... Yeah. It eclipses the movie and music industry combined, you know? And there's a lot of... This is your kids, get up and dance, come on. <laughs> <That's> well, <laughs> my entry music. <laughs> a bit premature. <laughs> but um, a lot of money is going into like uh, game production, including the music side. As you yeah. said, it's bigger than Hollywood. Absolutely, you know, yeah. and it's and it's, and, yeah. and I think that's a great thing, you know, that people are investing so in back I, into the music I, industry. I literally, I literally, I literally think GIK and PMC, you guys can say, okay, we're we're engaging with the gaming community influencers and whatever you do with your pro audio market yeah and that's it you, you can it's up to you to define the company in that segment i think say again <laughs> <laughs> you just can you what? can you can put the company you just put add the tech to the brand here's speakers for the high end if you want to have the best gaming setup yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, I do think it's i think it's going to be the, I see, it's, sorry i see what you're saying yeah, yeah i think it's going to be the future genuine we actually work with a lot of um, of the actual manufacturers of games at the moment yeah. so a lot of the big names um, we will work with i beat i go go out myself to the actual studios and i do think that you know people who are working in it are their kind of, they are, but again, that sort of age are young, they're interested in themselves. And I do think it is something, I think it is something you're quite right. I think we should, you know, perhaps we should be actually already getting there now and saying that, you know, PMC could be the go-to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we are. And, uh, you know. You guys can team up and, yeah. and like deliver the, 
the it's, picture it's of the finished room. It's crazy okay? when we do those type of rooms because you'll get it and it's like you'll have these unbelievable gaming rooms that have one chair, don't they? Yeah. What a chair. Yeah. You've seen those chairs? The gaming chair. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. yeah. I mean, even even in the home gaming setup, people yeah. are taking more chairs. You can, you know, most games now have at least a 5 one surround yes. yeah. option, you know, yeah. mix. And like you say, you know, game the gaming generation is getting more mature, older, yes. more disposable income, and they're taking it more seriously. Yeah, one one hundred percent. Yes, good, you know, there's amazing sounding soundtracks on a lot of games. Who are, you know, they're spending the money going out, hiring out these amazing facilities, studios, yeah, full orchestra recordings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we, I just, we, I did a podcast with a company that is doing orchestra recordings for games, and they like go into the biggest studio. Yeah, yeah. And it's massive. They, the budget is there, and, and it's adding an extra dimension onto that side. You know, yeah. Uh, the surround mixes, and even just good stereo mixes as well. It's like I so I always said with acoustics. You know, if you if you're playing a game and you want to know who's creeping up behind you, you need to actually really know the directionality of the sound. Yeah. You know. Virtual reality gaming. That's, yeah. You know, that's the next big thing, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. It really is completely immersive. Interestingly, by the way, I never did mention our software. It's got virtual reality add-on. You can actually walk through your room literally in the virtual reality headset. Just just by the by. Because we, we really are, you kind of like, the others, not me, the others in the company, they're kind of young and hip, I think. Obviously not me, I'm just a different man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we have, we have got virtual reality. But the whole thing about it, I'm kind of convinced that, that especially for the home consumer setup, it's not going to be hi-fi anymore, it's not going to be home studio, I think it's going to be home entertainment. Something that's going to work for everything. Um, so you know you can you can literally you know do a little bit of mixing. You can actually use a system that you can use it for for TV. You can use it for yeah. Wi-Fi. I think there's going to be yeah. the future for me is definitely going to be home entertainment for that type of. I mean, a lot of our customers, our pro customers, aren't always actual professional studios. As, as I'm sure it's the same for you people. It is actually people who have their own studio set up at home, for example. You mean like hobbyists? Yeah, hobbyists. Have you, and hobby, that yeah. brings up one question I always had, never ask you guys. Have you thought about like the wife and girlfriend friendly uh, acoustic elements for the living room? Yeah, I mean, that's what we try to do with the impression um, range. Yeah. Obviously, it's not worse. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Sam. Have well, you seen our product? Have you been? <laughs> no, we, we really are aware no, of... I mean, we're like hiding yeah. it in a plant or something. Yeah. No, no, we've, we've, uh, we've, we've really started to look at that type of thing. Yeah. That's partly why. You know why we did the more decorative panels? Yeah. Um, one of the things people always say to us, I don't want my living room looking like a studio. Yeah. Which is kind of nice, because we've made studios look like studios in a way, yeah. by, by selling the panels to people. However, what's happened is all the studios are buying the new decorative panels. Well, it's a creative yeah, so, space, isn't it? Yeah. Like you were saying, you know, style yeah. and looks is an important part. You, you, when, when you're working in the studio, you don't yeah. want to be looking at a black, you know, maybe you're into grey and black, whatever. Yeah. But the point is you need to be inspired, and you need to be comfortable visually and hourly. Yeah. To, to work the best, isn't it? Yeah. It's a creative space, yeah. so it needs to be like that, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. The best producer speak, speech I've ever actually heard anyone do was, uh, you know, Rob Kerwin, who did Hosier mm -hmm. um, Records, and he, instead of coming in and talking about what he does here, what he does there, how he creates this, what speakers he used, he came and stood there and says it's all about the creativity, yeah. and I think you know, could people like ourselves and PMC, that's what we're at the heart of it. We, we've never forgotten that it's about the creativity, it isn't mm. about the acoustic panel, mm. it isn't about the speakers. No. It's about creating an environment that a yeah. professional um, can actually work in and create and, and produce something that we're all going to actually enjoy in the long run. And Absolutely. that changes from, from person to person. I mean, um, you know, technology is now at a point, it's so accessible, so accessible. You know, you can get a reasonably priced laptop reasonably apply software, even just a pair of headphones, yeah. and produce some amazing work, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and you don't necessarily, yeah, you don't uh, need all the gear, you know? Yeah. Um, and that, that's what it's about, at the end of the day, it's all about the music, and yeah. it's about the album, isn't it? So. Yeah. Cool. Final question. What are you doing tonight? Well, um, we're all hopefully going for something to eat. You come with us, Mark. You up for it? I'll have to. I'm not my own boss here because Stefan is doing the plans for me. Yeah, Stefan, um, Stevie, as, Stevie. as we all know him, <laughs> as we all know and love him, Stevie <laughs> likes to go and eat and have a drink. 
So I'm sure like he'll Like most be, humans. Yeah, like most <laughs> humans. Like to sustain. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm, I'm guessing the chances of him wanting to eat today okay. are relatively high. Um, however, I think we're all pretty open to what we eat or where. What about you? He's yeah, got I eating. Think I'm BMC eat don't give him any money. Something right. as well, so... Uh, <laughs> Where's the camera, <laughs> man? <laughs> so I think... I think how, what time is it? It is uh, eight minutes past six, Mark. It's time to, like, not go home because... No, we still got another three days on this, Mark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can, I can actually... I drive home tonight, actually. Oh, son of a... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not driving, but somebody's going to drive me home. So, All right. uh, yeah, let's have a drink. Have yes, a bite to eat and a uh, really cool chat, mate. No worries, bro. <laughs> I'll see you again. <laughs> I'll see you again. Cheers. Big time. Big time record producer. The difference is what's your foundation. How difficult it has been to lose Prince. Good morning. Mark Holzer. Try this. Let's the A section. Output, output, output.